Hello everybody, John here and today you join us from a very messy garage. Um, combination of been getting whoops, Olive out of the garage, garage. Um, working on my father-in-law's JBA kit car, having a bit of a tidy out, many many things been going on so uh, today is just about tidying up and getting rid of some of the junk around me in the garage and my poor workbench. But today's video is a very important one, one a lot of you have been waiting for and it's all about the inspiration given to me by David Yao, who sent me a calendar that he made for himself and a few friends uh, quite some time back now. So, combination of things. I uh, wanted to do something to uh, celebrate the growth of the channel. wanted to do something to thank everybody who's been sending in photographs unprompted over the last few years wanted to do something that gave us some extra activity to do during this terrible covid crisis and although the uk is now emerging from that and yes we're we're all carrying around masks in our pockets and we've got our new normal emerging it's not perfect and we have flare-ups but across the world, places like Australia at the moment are beginning to uh, really feel the bite of COVID, maybe for the first time. So there's lots of us still trapped inside, unable to go out on events. And I wanted to do a, a gathering this year. I wanted to basically go out somewhere and meet up with some of you guys. It, it's not going to happen. We can just see that. So we decided to have our To The Garage X100 calendar photo competition and you guys have been sending in your photographs and they have been absolutely magnificent. We received some photographs which I've had to disqualify on technical grounds. Um, that's no offence and no criticism to those who sent them in but uh, just sort of sticking to my own rules what I set. Uh, so duplicate entries, um, multiple photos, etc, etc. Because a few of you made mistakes and sent me two or three photos and then immediately saying, oh, I've made a mistake. That's fine, don't worry, I'm not being uh, uh, pedantic about it. So if you corrected it, it's absolutely fine. But there's a few other little technicalities. Um, so we've got 83 brilliant photographs. Um, I don't know if 7,000 odd subscribers to the channel, but for 83 people to have taken the effort to either take or find out their favourite photograph and they're of excellent quality and to have sent them in, I'm really, really pleased, really proud and have really enjoyed looking at them. So, we couldn't possibly give you guys the option of which is your favourite out of 83 photographs. Yes you could have done it but we couldn't have analysed it and pinned it down. So we've had to make a bit of a short list and we've gone for 26. Why 26? 26 letters in the alphabet. We had a few photos as I said resolution wasn't quite good enough so good as they were um, we've taken those out. A few of them are um, duplicates almost so you'll recognize if your photo is one of the ones in question there are I think three occasions where completely coincidentally we've got almost exactly the same shot with almost exactly the same very iconic backgrounds but from different people taken at different times <clears throat> and so I didn't want to end up with a situation where you guys voted on your favorites for the calendar and quite rightly let's say three of your favorites were actually the same shot with a different car in so i've taken a judgment call on which of those very very similar shots is my favorite no apologies there and maybe that's gone forward so there are a couple where that was the reason for thinning them down in all other regards the reason that the 26 made it into the top 26 
was myself, Joe, my wife, and uh, my parents came round and we had an evening of deciding based on our reaction on a really big screen to the photographs whether those photos went forward or not and it took us all night because the first time we thinned it down we only got as far as about 55 so there's some great photos that did not make it into the final 26 anyway first thing voting I set up a system online I hope it's going to work uh, well and there's going to be a link in the description below this video what I need you guys to do is view the, the video now just watch it enjoy the nice photos you're not going to be able to judge it really quickly trust me it's difficult maybe watch it again get your family together with a note pad and paper whatever and note down the letters of your favorite photos when you've got your winner and your runners up and you can have up to 11 runners up you can have two runners up three runners up 11 runners up it's up to you but no more than 11 then click on the link in the description and it'll take you to a little uh, questionnaire poll it's just got two questions first question pops up and asks you which is your winner and it lists all the letters of all the photos and you can change your mind but it'll only allow you to tick one of those letters when you've done that go to the bottom of the list and click vote then the second question will come up which basically says what are your runners up and we've not been able to uh, lock that down to a maximum of 11 just technicalities on my uh, part but you can tick multiple choices for that so if you say well I've got three runners up then tick your three that you think are worthy of runners up if you'd like to pick the other 11 that you think should be in the calendar beside the winner go for it that's great please don't tick more than 11 and again I'm going to insert a rule and this I can easily filter um, if you've ticked more than 11 on that second question we'll have to take that out of the voting so it's as simple as that and once you've completed that vote as a little thank you uh, it will flash up for you the uh, current leader in the overall winner photograph based on adding your votes to those that have already been received. Myself and Joe will be the only ones to be able to see the running total on uh, both questions and we won't know who's won until the competition closes but we will be able to see the live tracking. The voting closes on the 30th of September at midnight GMT. I hope you're going to enjoy getting involved in this it's another little distraction from the world outside um, some fabulous photographs I've not included the names of the contributors the models of the cars where they're taken anything like that this is just about the photos when we've got our winners we'll share all the information about those photos good luck enjoy and thanks for being a subscriber to to the garage
If you want to support the channel, then obviously there will be a calendar that you can buy, very limited edition. They must sell out. Can't sell them next year. If you're interested in buying a calendar, it'd be nice to hear um, in the comments below if you are. I uh, can't tell you the price, but it won't be more than 20 pounds, let's say. Also interested, yeah, if you want to leave comments about what your favourite photos were, brilliant, stick them in the comments. We can get some chat and debate going on that. But that won't be counted as a vote. It's only the online um, poll, the questionnaire through the link in the description is going to count as the vote. Nothing else will count. If you'd like to buy a hat, like my lovely Pete cap, or uh, we have a limited stock of beanies still left, uh, internal and external stickers, then head on over to the website www.tothegarage.co.uk and go to the store, which you'll find on the little menu at the top. That will allow you to uh, get on there and see what we've got for sale. Please remember to check out the documents area, which is called the XK8 Bible and other interesting documents where there is all manner of useful stuff connected with the x100 model we will also add a gallery later don't hold me to a timeline on this showing all of the photos were contributed to our 2020 competition on the website for posterity see you soon